23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. He ruled our airwaves for 40 years. I'm only delighted once again that you could join me here on The Gentle Giant. One of the most brilliant broadcasters ever. His warmth and spontaneity made him a friend to millions. You never knew what he was going to say. Imagine a sweet with Terry Wogan running all the way through it. Sir Terry Wogan. Do you know I haven't been up in a boat this early since God was a boy? Tonight, with the help of old friends and colleagues, we'll pay tribute to a much-missed giant of broadcasting. We'll chart Terry's rise from Dublin bank clerk to working as a newsreader. Something deep down within him says, I have a shot at that. To becoming the UK's most successful broadcaster. They seem, in a funny way, quite pleased to see you. <laughs> Along the way, we'll relive his most memorable moments from shows like Wogan... I'm going to kick Elton John's piano. ...and Blankety Blank... Back, lest you feel the kiss of cold steel. ...to cherished institutions like Children in Need... The concentration on Terry! That wasn't concentration, that was passion. <laughs> 36-year-old Darren Pencil, who just minutes later would be involved in a deadly confrontation, turned violent. In images shown to the jury but too graphic to be released publicly, the victim is seen being stabbed 18 times in just 25 seconds. Darren Pencil admits possessing a knife but has pleaded not guilty to murdering Lee Pomeroy. Mr Young and launches a single vicious punch to the head. Mr Young sustained a serious head injury and later died. Gill pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced at Salisbury Crown Court to four and a half years in prison.